What's up YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. You know, we have to keep going. When life gets hard, um, we have to keep pushing through. You know, we might have challenges. Um, you might have been abused in your life. Um, you might have uh, run into trouble in your life. Maybe you've been to jail or you have, uh, you know, run into different types of trouble. Maybe you've been sick or uh, different things like that. And so, you know, we have to overcome in our life. Now we have to overcome sin, but we also have to overcome in different ways. Like, um, you know, having faith in those times of trouble, we have to say things like, it will get better, you know, it will work out. Um, and when we really strive to have faith and believe what what do we believe believe good scriptures you know there's a great youtube channel called um uh it it's a, a scripture uh promises and if you type in promises of god um and i think it's called soak stream s-o-a-k s-t-r-e-a-m soak stream and uh they basically just give the promises of god over and over and you can actually play it while you sleep so when you wake up in the middle of the night and in between falling back to sleep you can listen to it uh and you can play it throughout while you're sleeping but you can also use it during the day uh, but anyway you know we believe the promises of god you know um that no weapon formed against you will prosper that for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Another one is, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. You know, um, the Bible says that whoever would love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and lips from deceitful speech. Let him turn away from evil and do good and seek peace and work to maintain it. And so we have to work to maintain peace in our life and we have to stick close to the word of God. Um, you know, we have to do that through our mindset about what we're thinking about. Um, you know, we have to do that through uh, def definitely thinking positively, you know, um, thinking faith filled thoughts, uh, you know, having faith is believing in things that you cannot see yet. And so, you know, sometimes God is testing us, you know, he's testing us to see um, what we have in our situation, what meaning what kind of uh, strength do we have? And he's also uh, helping us to know how we need to rely on God. And so I'm going to read some of the uh, Colossians and it's and starting with chapter one. And it says, we always thank God, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints. So one thing you need to remember is have love for all Christians, you know, um, of course, have love for unbelievers, but having love for all Christians, we need to remember that, you know, um, we need to remember, forgive those people that are hurting us. You know, and pray about the situation too. Don't forget to pray about it. Let's continue. Because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. So that's another thing is that remembering when you're going through tough times, remember the hope that you have in heaven, you know, and I am sure you think about that every now and again, is that, you know, God is promising us such a great life in heaven, you know. He promises to take away our pain and suffering, and he promises us joy and peace and a great environment and uh, just a new life. So we remember that we have a hope laid up for us in heaven. And so I think that's an important thing to do is to have hope in times of despair and trouble, you know, and of course, remember to get wisdom, you know, read some books about it or 
I prefer audiobooks, you know, uh, get audiobooks about certain things. And of course, I don't read a whole about a bunch of audiobooks, but I try to stay up on my game of, you know, getting into audiobooks more than what I have in the past. And uh, anyway, of this you have heard before in the word of truth, the gospel, which has come to you as indeed in the whole world, it is bearing fruit and increasing. And that's what we need to remember to do is to bear fruit. And how do we do that? Through the gospel. You know, um, the gospel is going to have us bearing fruit. What is the gospel? The gospel is, you know, that Jesus came to this earth. He uh, lived and did miracles. And then he died on our behalf. And then he was raised to life for our justification. And so that we can have a better life. And he gave us eternal life. And so anyway, as it is also does among you, since the day you heard it and understood the grace of God in truth, just as you learned in Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant, he is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf and has made known to us your love in the spirit. So we need to remember to be faithful. You know, that's the one. Another thing is to remember to be faithful to God, you know. Um, sometimes we go through a hard time and we feel like, oh, I want to give up on God or, oh, I just want to go back to the way that I used to live. I, I want to take that drink, you know, and for me, you know, I have to remind myself of what am I working towards? You know, what does God want me to do? And how is that lifestyle really benefiting me? Am I getting to the where I need to go or is it just you know, going to cause me more trouble than good? And the answer is yes, it's going to cause me more trouble than good. Yes, I have to stick to what I believe in. And so um, he, is, he is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf and has made known to us your love in the spirit. And so from that day we heard we have not ceased to pray for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding. So you can read Colossians again. That was Colossians one. I read about, I, I would say, nine verses or so. I didn't really keep track. But um, the last part of that, what he said was to be filled with all wisdom and spiritual knowledge and understanding, you know, and. Um, I wanted to point out the love that we're supposed to have. You know, we have to love others, you know. And of course, we do all of this through the power of the Holy Spirit. I wanted to bring up also to remember to pray in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit means to pray in tongues. What is praying in tongues? It's using an unknown language to speak to God. And what happens is, even though we don't know what we're saying, our spirit prays on our behalf and our spirit, meaning our inner man, speaks to God and prays on our behalf. And so it's important to pray in the spirit, to be filled with the Holy Spirit is how a lot of people say is praying in tongues. Now, you might hear um, that praying in tongues is only for a certain group of people, but what you can do if you... Um, feel called to pray in tongues which i feel like we're all called to pray in the spirit which is associated with praying in tongues is to just do it out of faith you know instead of being worried about what am i saying what how does this sound i f i feel silly doing it out of faith and saying you know what i'm gonna have faith that you know this is how we're supposed to pray in the spirit and how we're supposed to pray in tongues and so the other part of what I just read is praying also, you know, remembering to pray, remember to tell God about what's bothering you, what you like, that being thankful, you know, God wants us to be thankful uh, for the things that we have, for the things that he's doing. Uh, but anyway, you know, praying in the spirit, it means talking like this. You go, ashana bashana, ashana no bashana, like and you pray using unknown language and you do that out of faith 
and your spirit prays um, and it's you can um, do that in your in your head and also out loud and this helps with just again it helps your spirit pray to God and for however God created it to work it helps us be filled with the Holy Spirit so do that out of faith um, you can start it in your head you can start praying in the spirit in your head um, and so anyway I hope you found this video helpful I hope you got something from this video um, and uh, thank you for watching you can uh, check out my uh, website washye.com excuse me you can follow me on Instagram at Y-E-T-H-E-W-A-S-H. Uh, that's Y-E the wash. Um, and that's my basically uh, website, in Instagram. Um, and so uh, you can like and subscribe to this channel if you like the videos that I'm making. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to finish watching this movie here. Um, and maybe I'll put on an audio book and prepare for work tomorrow. So thanks so much. And I will talk to you on the next video. See ya.